Hello, today we are going to talk about how you can automate your Solana ecosystem airdrop farming using the Sower client in order to 10x your farming potential. There are five easy steps we need to go over. We have to uh, obtain and hold some NFTs. We have to join a Discord and verify the ownership. We have to create a few new uh, Phantom wallets. We have to transfer some funds in those wallets and we have to set up the client. The first step is kind of the big deal because you have to obtain three NFTs and unlock the robot and all the functionality. For those NFTs, currently the price is around 7 or so, and I got them around 4, but if you plan on doing this, you should get them now, you can try to bid for lower price, etc, because the price will keep on increasing. Because for now with the client, we can farm Margin Fine, Zeta and Jupiter, but keep in mind that there is Camino, Drift, Parcel and Meteoro also upcoming. Therefore, the demand will increase and also the price will be increasing. Anyway, if you decide to and once you obtain those three NFTs, you have to go to their Discord. By the way, all the necessary links are in the description, so check the description. So you have to go to their Discord and verify your ownership, which is done by Metrica. And it's quite easy. It takes like, I don't know, two minutes, maybe max. Once you get verified in the Discord, you receive a role and you unlock the, the server. And once you do that, you'll be able to navigate yourself to the download section and download the client for the operating system you have. They support Windows Mac and Linux and once you download that it will look like that and once you start the client it will look like that. Now you're almost ready to start setting the client before that now for the purpose of this farm and for safety measures you have to create brand new phantom wallets create two of them or more and once you do that transfer your three NFTs to the first wallet together with 0.1 soul for the fees and current USDC for balance. In the second wallet, you transfer just 0.1 so for the fees and current USDC for transactions. Note here, you can use many wallets, but we'll just do two for the purpose of the video. As you can see, we can farm Zeta Margify. We're going to farm Zeta for the purpose of the video. And before we set up the client, let's go to uh, Zeta Dex, which is dex.zeta.markets. And you have to connect your wallets here and you have to activate your account. So transfer X1 USDC Per, per account here. So let's make that deposit only one USDC here. Just confirm you're done with the first account. Now let's go and do the second account. Again, only one USDC. We're done here also. Now we're ready to set up the client. As a piece of advice here, I will recommend that it is best for you if you run any type of bots, not only airdrop bots, but any type of bots on virtual machines or dedicated laptops. And by the way, VPNs are also recommended. In the client here, we navigate ourselves with the arrow buttons and with enter keys. So first thing we have to do is go to global config and press enter. First, we need to set the wallet with the NFTs in it. We need the private key for that wallet. And that's why we made new wallet dedicated only for the farming operations. So go in your wallet into the settings and just uh, grab your, your private key, manage accounts, first account, show private key, password, grab your private key here and then paste it, press enter and you're ready with the first wallet. Then we now get ourselves to wallets, we press add, we copy paste the first um, a key again for the first wallet, then we add another one, then we add another one and we go grab the private key for the second wallet. We paste the second key and we have added the second key. Now we have to go back and we're almost done. For the purpose of the video, as I said, we're going to go with Zeta, but you can do also margin five and probably once you're watching the video, there might be more here. And this client might look a little bit slightly different because they're um, consistently doing updates, but the idea will be pretty much the same. I'm the same. I'm, I'm sure you're going to figure it out. So let's go in Zeta and set up the first wallet. Also do the second wallet. We have picked the two wallets. Now in market, we can choose USDC and so or USDC and bonk. Currently for USDC bonk, there is two X points rewards. Depending on the time you're watching the video, uh, it might be different and you can do just USDC uh, so, but we're going to, for the purpose of the video, we're going to go with the USDC bonk. Long short ratio, keep it to neutral. Frequency 15 to 25 minutes, you can reduce that to uh, 5, 10 minutes. It's up to you. Pretty much it's going to open and close. Uh, if you pick 5 to 10, it's going to open and close positions faster. So we're going to pick 5, 10 minutes for the purpose of the video. Position size, you can change that. I'm going to keep it to 50 and we're ready to start farming. Now, once you press farming, you have to set your uh, Z score cap. So usually you can set it to, I'm going to set it, set it to 50,000 and just uh, let it be 
like that you're gonna see some some stuff some stuff happening and now we have to give it some time and at some point now every 10 minutes it's gonna start to open and close positions automatically on the uh, zeta dex so after you give some time to the client at some point it's gonna check if there are any positions if there are no positions it's going to place orders and after that as you can see orders placed you can see it in the, our uh, dex that in this case it's a long position it's gonna give also a wait time of six minutes after that it's gonna close the position and reopen and pretty much that's it that's how you automate your airdrop farming on solana ecosystem and i think it's a very powerful tool which you can use to enhance your airdrop farming and also in the future they're gonna be a rev share they're probably gonna uh, release a token they're updating the airdrops they're gonna be adding other platforms as i said so it's quite of a something so if you want to automate your airdrops make sure to try this approach thanks for watching this video subscribe to the channel and i'll see you all with the next one